In this video I'm going to cover the DJI Spark Gesture control and I'm going to do some testing. So how do you enable it? First off you just get the drone and just turn it on like any other uh, DJI product drone. You just do the two click and then once it's on you just double press again. And uh, don't make the mistake here what I just did. Uh, actually have it face in your face so that when you do press the button uh, the lights do go green then it registers that you are the person in control and it'll take off automatically like it just did there. So it'll just hover and uh, at this point you've got options of what you want to do. Uh, you just raise your hand and uh, just start moving it around. You know, if you see green lights, that's a good indicator that the drone is responding. If you see red, then uh, it's thinking about the, your command. There is some lag, as you can see. It looks like about a second or maybe a second and a half lag. Uh, so you can go left to right, right to left, pretty simple. You can go down and you can go up. Uh, obviously there, it got some red lights there. It must be a disconnect. It didn't like that. That's fairly low altitude and you can see that, uh, well, you might not be able to see it, but the camera actually was pointing down more. So just be aware that when you are trying uh, to go up or down, uh, just be aware of where the camera is uh, pointing and the angle that it is in relation to your body and to your hand. So... You know, now we're going to do a wave, which uh, indicates that it should retreat and go up to a height of three meters. And at this point, you want to do this action, which will set off a selfie picture. Only for me, it took a photo, but it didn't save it to anything. I looked on the uh, SD card and I looked on the um, app as well, and um, I just couldn't find it. I went online and did some research. And uh, it looks like on some message forums, uh, it is an obvious bug. So when they do fix the bug and you can take the picture, you're done with, uh, you know, your selfie image and you want to return your drone. You just form your hands in the indicator of a V, just like here. And the drone will return and you just put your hand out underneath it and the drone will recognize your hand and automatically land and turn off. Very nice little function. So here again is just me doing a takeoff again, uh, just to see how quickly it goes up in the air. It's a very nice little feature. Um, you know, obviously it's a problem right now that DJI are releasing products that don't do what they claim they uh, say they can do. But uh, here you can see just a, a timing test. Uh, I'm actually going to put it through its paces here. I'm going to try to put it up into the sky as much as I can. Um, there is a ceiling with the drone uh, that's about as high as it goes. And I did try to actually put it down on the ground as much as possible and uh, try to land it, which um, I couldn't get it to do. Uh, I was just curious to see whether that was something that it would recognize if it was that low to the ground that it would automatically start uh, going into uh, a landing mode. But uh, as you can see, I couldn't get it to go any lower than that. And um, once I did lower it, I had trouble getting it off the ground. But anyway, once it's up in the air, you can pretty much walk away from this drone, and this drone will follow you. As you can see in the video footage here, I'm kind of walking around it, and um, it's basically keeping me in its field. Uh, and if you walk around uh, left, right, it will follow you too. So, as of June 2017, some things DJI need to work on, and that is the photo function needs to save to SD card or to your phone. One or the other or both would be great. Uh, I'd like to be able to increase the height of the um, gesturing when it comes to the drone's uh, altitude. I'd like it to go higher than what it uh, is currently limited at. I'd like it to be able to take video. That would be a really major thing not sure why it's just reduced to photo at this point uh, but the ability to make a gesture for video would be great and, uh, and last but not least just introducing more uh, gesture features um, being able to do some things combination of hand signals and uh, it doing some fun stuff um, you know I'm thinking some of the intelligent modes would be really useful uh, but just at a limit, limited option I do hope that you found this video useful. Love to hear what you think about the gesture feature on the DJI Spark 2. Thank you for watching.